forward. This time I'm building a ruin for my bane blade as promised. This build is going to be a simple one and because of that it's going to be a fast one. It took me not even two days to finish it. Nonetheless it's looking pretty good. For material you will only need the following things. Knives to cut things. Foam board. Filler or speckle. Sand and decoration granules. PVA glue or wood glue will do. Mortar. Gesso. Acrylic paint. Tap water. And I also used matte acrylic medium and maybe a bit of airbrush thinner. But instead you could also just use tap water. It would work just fine. Idea. This project starts as always with a sketch. My first idea was to portray a bane blade hiding from airstrikes in a ruined building, similar to the tiger in the German campaign in Battlefield 5. And in the end I went with the bane blade and this ruin where the bane blade could find some cover. A lot of inspiration for my ruin came from a video from Tabletop Lanny's Terrain. You can find a link to the video in the top right corner on the video description. Building. I began drawing a grid onto some foam board. Then I drew on my walls, windows and destroyed wall sections. To draw the arches I used a cup. Very helpful. I then cut out a piece of foam board that fit well on my MDF game board. I used this as a foundation for my building, so I glued on the walls with some hot glue. From time to time I tested if my bane blade would still fit. Uh, yes, yes it does. I also cut out some gothic looking buttresses and glued them onto the ruin. With that, the basic structure is finished. Details To make the ruin playable, I put down ladders, barrels and a chain. When I was happy with their positions, I glued them in place. I then added battle damage to the ruin by cutting pieces away from the walls and buttresses. I also poked some bullet holes into the walls and glued some broken wall pieces to the ruin's foundation. Now it's time for speckling paste. I put it down on selected spots and sprinkled some decoration granules and sand on the floors of the ruin and especially on the speckle piles. I then fix it all in place with some thin wood glue. I didn't want my ruin's foundation to warp, so I sprayed water on the underside of the ruin and put some weights on it to let it dry. This way the foundation did only warp slightly. The next step was to paint the ruin with some texture paint that I made out of gesso, mortar, water, glue and acrylic paint. This way I could fill up some gaps between the walls and also give the whole ruin a solid rock or concrete texture. Paint. Now to the paint brushes. I painted the whole ruin with a mixture of grey gesso, grey acrylic paint and water. The barrels and the upper ladder got painted with the blue paint that gives a nice contrast to the lifeless grey. 
On top of that blue, the barrels also got painted on some white stripes, because why not? I then gave all the ladders, barrels and the chain a brush over with gun metal, in a way that you can still see the blue and grey undercoating and thus get an instant weathered look. The next step is to paint on a layer of black wash that basically consists of watered down black acrylic paint. That way I get dark shadows and everything looks like it wears away because of lots of rain. Now it's time for dry brushing. I just took the original grey paint and mixed in some more white. With that I dry brushed the ruin in a top to bottom motion. I dry brushed the floors with a circling motion. The last step was to give the barrels, ladders and the chain a dry brush with acrylic silver. And here is the finished room. Well, that's it for this video, I hope you liked what I did, uh, if so make sure to leave me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to my channel and I'm always happy about a comment. Goodbye and till next time.